So you want to create a new culture in version 1.15 of Crusader Kings. So what you want to do is go to upload mod here and create a mod. I'm going to name it culture uh, version 0.1. This is the version of the mod directory culture and then add a tag in. I'm going to go with culture on its own, create new mod. And then we want to upload it to uh, the Steam Workshop. The mod ID we can leave empty. Description needs at least 10 characters, so I'm just going to spam ASDASD. Upload mod. Alright, now once that's done, we'll go to our new playset, add, a, add in our mod. Now we want to go into our file explorer and go to documents, Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings 3, mod. You can see this culture.mod here. You can open it using Atom. I'll leave the link to that in the description. But you want to, what you want to do in here is change the supported version from 1.15.0 to 1.15. Asterisk. What that does is essentially makes it so that any version of 1.15. Point whatever works with this mod. And you want to do the same thing inside this new mod folder here in the descriptor.mod. So using Atom again, changing the supported version to 1.15 point asterisk. So once we've done that, we want to go into our Steam here and then go into Crusader Kings properties, install files, browse. And then we want to go inside of game and then common here and culture down here. So this is the uh, folder location that we need to copy. So if we go back to our mod folder, we can actually create a new folder here called common. And inside that folder, we can create a new folder called culture. And then going within that culture folder inside the base game files, you can see we've got the cultures folder inside of this culture folder, plus uh, nameless and pillars. Those are the three that we will be needing today. So with those three folders in mind, we can go back into ours and then make new folders called cultures and then name lists and then pillars. So we're just copying the names of these folders here. And what we need to do now is go back into the game folder and then look for the localization folder. So we also want that in ours as well. So if we go back into the base folder, create a new folder called localization. And inside this localization folder, we want to create a new English folder. We are simply just copying what's inside of here, English. And then we want the culture folder as well. So we'll inside our English folder, create a new one called culture. And inside of that one, create one called traditions. So to recap, we've got the common and the localization inside the common we have culture cultures nameless and pillars and then we've got inside the localization we've got english culture and traditions now what we can do is grab our visual studio code with our mod opened in there so now we can start making our text files so inside this cultures folder here we can go new file and call it zero zero underscore test on dot txt so anywhere i put test you can replace with your own name but uh, inside of here we'll start creating our first culture so test equals curly brackets we can change the color of the culture that's displayed on the map i'm just going to do a simple 0.5 all the way through then we can change the ethos uh, i'm going to go with ethos bellicose we also got the heritage heritage uh, underscore test then language uh, equals language underscore test then we've got martial custom so that's which genders can go into war so I'm just going to go with equal and then now we can start with our traditions so there are a bunch of different options for traditions the code names aren't always representative of what they're called for example industrious is actually the code name for it is hard working so I will put a link in the description uh, showing all the different code names for all the traditions. 
So coming back here, I'm just going to put in some random traditions. You can have up to five traditions in the tribal era, plus one per era that your culture is in. Uh, so I'm just going to put in five after traditions. We've got name underscore list. So this is your uh, citizens or your courtiers, whatever's names in your culture. Uh, so name underscore list underscore test. Uh, we've got coat of arms graphics. Uh, I'm going to go with Western coat of arms. You've got building graphics. Western is a default. Uh, clothing and then DDE uh, Holy Roman Empire graphics. And then after the clothing, we've got unit uh, Western unit graphics. And then after that, we've got the ethnicities. So those are for the character designs. So you, you can weight it percentage based up to 100%. So for example, we can go 65% could be Caucasian uh, blonde, for example, or and then 35% Caucasian brown hair. So all of the people of this culture will be Caucasian of either blonde or brown hair. 65% uh, of them will be blonde. And so that's the end of our test culture. Again, you can change any of these test words here to anything you like. So we're done with this file. We can go into the name underscore list folder, create a new file, name it 00 underscore test names uh, dot txt. Uh, but what we're going to do now is go back into the base game files and look for this folder. So we go common, then we can go into culture and then go name underscore list. I am going to look at the akan.txt just for uh, demonstration purposes, but you could copy the Roman one, for example. I'm just going to go control A, control C, and then paste it into my own name list. So you could change this to be whatever you like, customize it a bunch, but uh, these are all dynasty names and male and female names. For now, we're going to just leave this as is. So after the name underscore list, we can go to pillars, create a new folder, new file rather, call it 00 underscore test underscore heritage dot txt. Open that up. And then we're going to add the heritage from our culture that we made. So we, our one is named heritage underscore test. So we're going to go heritage underscore test equals go to brackets it is a type un equals heritage and then is shown heritage is shown trigger heritage equals heritage test and then add a audio parameter equals European I just use this as a default so that's the end of the heritage file. I'm going to make another one called 00 underscore test underscore language. So this is the new language that we've made. So language underscore test equals and say language is shown essentially copying what I wrote in the last file and it's a language equals language test so now we're going to add an ai will do so that is value 10 if equals limit equals has cult has cultural pillar equals language underscore test multiply by 10 and now we're going to add a color in. I am just going to put it as English. You can change the RGB value like so. So if uh, you could change it to 0, 0.0 all the way through. Uh, but I'm just going to have it as English. So it's the same language color used on the map. So now this is done. We're going to add some localization files in. So the first one we're going to add is into the culture folder. So we're going to go test underscore l underscore english underscore culture underscore name underscore list dot yml 
So this is our first folder, our first file that we're working on. Make sure as well that you are using UTF-8 with bomb in these localization files. To change that, all you need to do is click on this and then click save with encoding UTF-8 with bomb. Otherwise it might not work in game. The only thing that we need in this file here is L underscore English colon and then name underscore list test colon zero and then name the name list test names these are what will show in the game now again we're going to add another file into the culture folder so we're going to go test underscore l underscore english underscore cultures dot yml and in this file we're going to go l underscore english test colon zero equals test this is the name of the culture that will appear in game i'm going to add a prefix to it i'm just going to have it as t e dash and then test collective noun and i'm going to name it testings so once those two are done we can go and in, into the traditions folder add a new file in called test cultural languages underscore l underscore english dot yml this one is a really small one again so l underscore english colon then language underscore test underscore name zero test language so this is adding in the the name of your language into the game so where i got this language underscore test underscore name is what your language is called plus an extra underscore name on it another file going in here test underscore cultural underscore heritages underscore l underscore english dot yml so this one is another really short one l underscore english colon heritage underscore test underscore name test heritage and then heritage underscore test collective noun test collective i'm just going to name it a, the full thing can't spell it really does help if uh, while you're coding to know how to spell properly so that you don't get any errors all right so once that is done you are fully complete with your culture so now we can test it in game so the way i do it is going into your Crusader Kings launcher, go all, all install mods, upload mod, and then our one is the culture mod, Steam Workshop, and then upload. Once that is done, I like to go into here and re reload all installed mods, clear out the cache information. I have a certain workflow with this where I upload it to Steam and then subscribe to it on Steam and then add it to the playset you're currently using. So this is a on file version. I don't really like to use it. I found some problems with it. So I just use the Steam version. So you have, might notice that the size of the folder has increased as well. So that's a good sign that everything is working so far. If we go back to the home and then click play one thing to mention before i go any further i did screw up by not saving so make sure everyone that you save your files before you launch and before you upload uh, your mod to steam if we go to new game start on any age you like once that's loaded up we can click on any place that you'd like to play scroll down mine is named test heritage with test culture so that's all working there uh, we've got the bellicose ethos got test language test heritage equal martial and all the traditions that we've added so i'll select this test culture here test if the names are working they aren't all right so i found the the culprit here so uh name underscore list underscore akan uh so i just needed to change that to test uh being the same as this name underscore test here and i will re-upload and relaunch the game so i've relaunched the game i'm just going to check if the names are working so it seems like they are working all right so that is the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed let me know if you have any ideas for tutorials you'd like to see or leave a comment if you have any questions subscribe and like the video if you like the video
Cheers.